Sam is awesome. He's got a lot of energy and a lot of stubbornness. <laughs> Sam has autism. It's a pretty severe form. He's nonverbal. He's a little bit cognitively impaired, but he's also very bright and uh, he has a lot of potential and a lot of skills. He went to a, a special program within his public school, but it was too many kids and too much noise for him. Um, and he could not thrive. The school system decided that it was best for him to go to a non-public school, to leave his current public school and go to a specialized program. We looked at a couple of places and as soon as I saw the classroom he would go into in Villa, I knew it was right for him. Villa Esperanza Services is a place where children from the ages of five all the way up through adulthood can come and get services. We have a school here, we also have an adult program. We work with children who haven't been successful in other types of school placements in the school program. At Villa, we offer a really small class size in comparison to like the public schools where you're gonna have between 12 and 15 children in a class with just a teacher and aide. At Villa, we have a one to three ratio. And so every student is really getting a more individualized instruction and you're able to really look at that student and see what their needs are, where you need to go and make a plan for their education. When Sam first came to our classroom, he didn't have really any way to communicate with us. Like we had no idea why he would get mad sometimes or why he was happy. And so for us, it was always a guessing game. One of the things we did is we gave him an iPad to help him communicate and it changed everything. It really opened a lot of doors for him. Now he could tell us what he wanted, what he needed, and it began to let us know what his inner voice was. Well, Sam had his device for about a year at school and then the first time they let him take it home, he ripped open his backpack, he ripped out his device, and he said, eat ice cream. We never had it in the house before. I don't know where he had it or how he came to know that he was gonna love it, but he had it and he loved it. He absolutely loved it. Without the iPad and Villa teaching him, we never would have known how much he loves ice cream. So we're here at the new construction site at Villa Esperanza Services. We're building a school. So what you see here is seven classrooms, which are going to be able to have 10 to 12 students in them. And uh, in the middle is going to be two play areas. On the other side of this building are going to be a garden area so that the students can be involved in that. And so we're really, really, really excited here. What this new construction and these classrooms are going to do for Villa is allow us to be more state-of-the-art more competitive, offer uh, the students and the staff more efficient ways to, to, to work even with the therapies that we do here. We're going to be able to serve more students because there's a need out there and so this facility is going to be able to meet that need. At Villa it's the individual attention and it's really that they understand the kids and they understand how to drill down to what that specific child needs. Sam was just not able to make that progress until he came to Villa and had, you know, the really specialized teachers and speech therapists here. And Sam's story, as you heard, is very, very inspirational and he's just one of very many stories that we have at Villa.